guys welcome back to my channel today i thought i make um a video Ooh, i don't have anything to hold my phone on so i'm like holding it with my hand see how long it lasts like that <laughs> but um <laughs> today um i wanted to make a video uh because a lot of people have asked me or me and my husband how we were able to buy a car how we were able to buy a car at a really young age um me and my husband have been together since we were i believe i was 16 16 years old and he was 17 at the time um and we did get together um we're, yeah we were together since high school um, and we ended up purchasing that first car um, a little after we had our daughter Annabelle uh, so at the time I was I believe I was 18 years old and he was 19 now at the time a lot of people would ask us oh like how did you guys manage to buy a car because as you guys know when you're young and like barely like 18 years old um, a lot of the car dealers like don't really trust you like with purchasing a car so most of the time you need a co-signer we tried that we went and we had money to put as a down payment just that the number one issue was that we needed a co-signer and we asked family members we had friends and everything but like always you know like people don't really trust young 18 year old so so you know they don't really trust you so so me and my husband were like struggling because it's like okay we need a car and at the time before that we had bought a car which was like 1990 something car it was like a like a like a volkswagen but and we bought it off from like somebody that he knew or whatever but the thing with that though is that that car kept breaking down and we were like no like we need something you know like what's the word we need something reliable so we're like we have to like we need at least not a brand new car but at least you know like from a car dealership where like we could trust and we know that the car will be okay, not just from some random person from the street just selling the car just to make a few bucks. So we actually got rid of the car and then uh, what we ended up doing, one of our friends told us about this car dealership where it's um, where you go and as pretty much as long as you have a good down payment and proof of your income and all that stuff like all the information you need um they'll let you buy a car without having to use a co-signer which was great for us because that was like that was the only thing we were missing just a co-signer so it was you know it was great when we went and they pretty much go based off your income and how much you could pay a month and then it's okay you qualify for like these cars and then they show them to you so that's how we were able to get our first car i believe our first car was a, a 20 i think it was a 2014 kia optima i'm gonna say i'm gonna put a picture right now But yeah, so that was the car, the very first car that we purchased that was from the dealership. And we did have the car for about a year, which later on since for throughout a whole year, we built our credit um, through that um, from paying the car payments on time and everything. So what we were able to do next was go to a dealership, which we went to Kia. And what we did was we traded in a car we had for a newer one so that's how we were able to so then after that car we had a which my husband drives 
It's a 2017 Kia Optima. I'll also put a picture on that. So pretty much, yeah, I just try to, that's what we did, um, what worked for us was being able to find a car dealership that you didn't know, the, like a co-signer, put it down from, I believe we put like $3,000 down on a down payment for the very first car that we got. And then after that, uh, when we got the second car, we didn't put it, we didn't put a down payment because we used the car as a down payment, the one that we had to traded in so that's how we were able to get that car now I do have my own car and for this car since we have been building a credit um, since we were 18 years old I am now almost 22 so our credit score has gone up just always always remember make sure you make your payments on time because just one late payment or one missed payment really backs you up so we what we do is we always make sure everything on time on time on time so uh, with this car at the time um, my dad did give us this used car it was um, it was like a Mercedes some kind of like um, family car I don't know um, it did have some issues and I personally didn't really like it I didn't like the way that it drove and it's just, I don't know, I was just not comfortable driving that car. Uh, so what my husband ended up doing was he ended up selling the car and that's how we were able to use. So the money that he got from that car was how we were able to use that money as a down payment for myself to get a car because he was going to work, I was going to work and then with one car it's just it didn't work out we needed our own cars and then it just it sucked you know like during the day having to like him go to work and then I couldn't go out or go too far because you know like groceries or laundry or nothing because I didn't have transportation so yeah and then me I've always wanted a Ford Flex is what they're called uh, also put a picture of that car in a bit but um yeah i've always liked those cars only because um i see us having a big family and i wanted a family car because his car is more of a it's a smaller you know it's small so i want to be able to have the family car where the strollers will fit groceries everything you know just stack it up in the back so um, he was able to get me that and we were able to get this car without having a co-signer because you know we've purchased two cars before that and then because our credit score you know and then just having a down payment so honestly um, yeah cuz I see or hear a lot of people even nowadays uh, my age 20 21 who are trying to buy a car but they struggle to because they don't have a co-signer um but that's something that worked for us and it's something we've been doing since we were 18 years old yeah so pretty much just say like as soon as you can start building up your credit score because trust me it will help you out a lot um and then another thing that we do to build up our credit score is we take out we take out loans so I have a loan I took out and he took out a loan and pretty much we use that like we don't even spend the money we use that money to pay it back every month little by little and as soon as it reaches as soon, oh, as soon as it reaches like the six seven months that we've been paying it then that's when we pay the rest of it off that way we don't have to pay so much that we don't have to pay back so much of the interest because then you end up paying more if you like wait like the whole year long or however long it is that it takes to pay it back so that's usually what we do so we go six of a month and then pay the rest of the loan off and then we take out a bigger loan and then use the same money 
to be paying it back. And then that's another thing that has helped us um, grow our credit score. Um, a lot of people suggest like, you know, credit cards or sometimes like a jewelry store so you could take stuff out and all that stuff. But I don't know, I'm kind of uh, like iffy about credit cards only because I don't want to end up like in debt or owing money. So uh, those are honestly the only two ways that we've built the credit score so far. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think that's all I had to say today because people have asked. <laughs> so, <coughs> and I've been sick, and Annabelle has been sick, so which is why I'm recording in the car because she fell asleep. <sighs> but yeah, I mean, if um, there's any other videos you guys uh, want to see. Uh, any ideas then just you know comment down below let me know um, but yeah I'll see you guys next time bye